February 26, 2022 is a Saturday. Welcome to your daily weather for Charlotte. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 53 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 40%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 9 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be cold with moderate rain. Monday is going to be cold with clear sky. Tuesday is going to be cold with overcast clouds. Wednesday is going to be cold with clear sky. Thursday is going to be cold with clear sky. Friday is going to be cold with scattered clouds. No weather alerts at the moment. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. Next up, over 5 million children have lost a parent or caregiver to COVID, study finds, live COVID updates. More than 5.2 million children globally have lost a parent or caregiver to COVID-19, according to a newly published study. Researchers surveyed mortality data from 20 countries, including the U.S. In our next story, four U.S. companies will pay $26 billion to settle claims they fueled the opioid crisis. Most of the funds from the settlement with manufacturers and distributors of opioids such as oxycodone will go to health. Care and drug treatment programs designed to ease the opioid crisis. For our next story, Argentina scientists unearth dinosaur with puny arms and hard head the guardian. Dinosaurs Dinosaur probably belongs to carnivorous group called abelosaurs and may have used its head to ram its prey fry. The 25th of February 2022-22. In other North Carolina news, eating less meat linked to lower cancer risk, study insider. People who eat less meat or stick to vegetarian diets may have a lower risk of certain cancers, suggests a study publish. Ed this week in BMC Medicine. In our next story, Biden to order personal sanctions on Putin as Russian forces close in on Kyiv ABC News. Amid pressure at home and abroad, the White House announced Friday that the U.S. For our next story, NATO deploys troops to eastern flank as Russian attack escalates in Ukraine Politico. This goes far beyond Ukraine, Stoltenberg said. This is about how Russia is actually challenging, contesting core values. For our security. In our next story, at Ukraine-Poland border, some flee Russian attack, others stay to fight the Washington Post. As Russia launched its assault on Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky called on citizens to take up arms and fight, and de-promised firearms to anyone who is willing. That's it North Carolina. Have a good one. one. To help support improvement of our show, please click subscribe. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather, TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License, ODBL.